So I grew up in Johnson City, um, and after we were done with high school, my business partner Liz and I decided to move to New York City. Uh, we were in a band at the time. We were just really drawn to New York City, uh, so we lived down there for a while. We came back up, and I just kept thinking, well, what, do, what am I going to do? You know, I'm not playing in a band now, and uh, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And then I thought, well, you know, I know how to cook, uh, I know how to eat, <laughs> and I also knew what I loved in New York. Moving back here, I didn't have the idea to open a restaurant, and Liz moved back a few years later after I got back here, and she said, let's open a restaurant. There's nothing around here like the cafes in New York City. We had no master plan. It was like, let's create a place where people could feel really comfortable, so it felt like home to them. You would just hang out. Yes, we would have food, and it would be really good food. We originally opened in 94, we opened at uh, an old gas station on Main Street. Three years into that, um, Adam Weitzman had bought this building and he used to come into the Lost Dog and he asked us to come down and look at it and move. So th that was in 1997 that we moved down here. Something about cooking, when you're in there, it is literally like, it's like this, in People call it martial arts when you're in there because you're moving so fast and you're just going and you and at the end of the night you feel it's so fulfilling. Our signature dish, what really got us on the map, is uh, one of Liz's creations. It's called rigatoni alla vodka. We actually have quite a few, I think, signature uh, drinks: one fish, two fish. They're all oddball things, but it's fun. People like it, you know. We're influenced by all different ethnicities. There's uh, like a number of Italian restaurants, there's a Lebanese restaurant, there's Japanese restaurants. We're an American fusion restaurant, um, Indian. I mean, there's so many places that you could have a great food experience. I remember we were trying to find a place to get, get our financing and we actually went to like a local Binghamton bank and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, downtown Binghamton's dead. Like there's nothing going on there get choked up because I really just didn't, I mean, there was not, not much of anything down here. And to see that people were willing to, to come downtown and, you know, kind of prove, you know, look, you're wrong, it's not dead. <laughs>